back. Cunard's successor to the Queens of the Atlantic is topic number one at John Brown's yard and throughout Clydeside. To every man with a shipbuilder's eye, which means nearly everybody in this part of the world, it's a great liner that's already taking shape. Latest type stabilizers will smooth out Atlantic rollers, the thought of which often daunts would-be ocean travelers. The Q4 will have two propellers to give her 28 and a half knots, though sheer speed won't be the liner's chief aim. In the jet age, sea travel is popular for other reasons. The smoke of the furnaces will all rise through one central passage to the single funnel designed to keep the decks free of smoke. Next September, they'll be knocking away the props to send the Q4 down to the water. The Queen will launch her. Seen publicly for the first time, a model, how the Q4 will look when finished. A handsome liner to be in all ways a great ship. Cunard chairman Sir Basil Smallpiece and all concerned in designing and building her knew that the Q4 would have to be a super vessel to live up to the reputation of the old Queen liners. The funnel is slightly higher than the smokestacks of the two Queens. Its design was kept secret as long as possible. 26 million pounds worth of liner, continuing a fine tradition. London.